Hey everybody, it's time for the big reveal for the buttery, so stay tuned. And while we're at it, let's talk a little bit about the barn sale that we're having this Saturday, October 8, 2022. If you're watching this right now and you're in the New England, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Mass area, or want to travel a little bit, Cousin Mel and I are having a sale, nine to three, um, probably standing room lines because we're gonna only open 20 at a time into the barn just for your shopping convenience. So it's gonna be really fun. So if you can at all make it, please do. We're gonna have great stuff. And it's quite a bit below retail. So if there's anything in there that you've ever wanted to buy, you're buying this in basically brand new condition at uh, a much lower price. So gorgeous stuff. All right, let's hit it and get into the buttery. All right, so here we are in the bar. Remember, it was like a total colossal mess. And it still is a little bit. I have to get rid of those paint cans and I have to find a place for my mops. However, it's in a lot better shape than it was. These are <laughs> my daughter's drinks still. I have to figure out where they're gonna go. But after that, this is gonna look a lot better. And of course, it looks right into the tavern room, which is my favorite room. By the way, I did just pick up two other settles, just like that one over there um, with different fabric. Got a really good deal and I'm so excited, so excited. So we'll be seeing that incorporated into my interior soon. But that's not why you're here you're here for the buttery. So let's go in there. Now, before we go into the buttery, let me just say I put some pewter up there on top of the shelves. I had a bunch of junk up there and decided that it would be much better to have something more fitting for a tavern. Um, I would really like redware up there more than even the pewter. However, I use what I have. Let's go into the buttery. shirtless time had to. <laughs> all right, this is what we did. First of all, we pulled the wallpaper off the bottom part. It was basically coming off and it was kind of a plasticky um, textured kind of thing. And we pulled it off and behind it was mold. And that's where the odor was emanating from was that lower wallpaper. So when we pulled that off, we scrubbed it with bleach. Windows were open, we were fine. And then we painted it with a mold killing paint primer. So the Zinzer one. And shirtless Tom did all of that because I have terrible mold allergies. So I just stayed out of the way while he did that and got it all cleaned up. And then lo and behold, the room didn't smell anymore. So that meant 
that we could keep this wallpaper. Now what we did do, just to make sure there weren't any mold spurs or anything on it, Tom went over this wallpaper with some light bleach and water. And I didn't care if the wallpaper got a little damaged that way. I knew that the mold would come off of it and we would be able to save it. So we did save the wallpaper. Second off, I came in here and I painted it with a color called black pepper, which is a color that Marianne, one of our primitive friends, actually uses in her tavern. And I happen to have a gallon of it here. And I thought, you know, that's a good gray, tan, grayish kind of color that might look really good with the wallpaper. And, and what it does is because the wallpaper is so brown and yellow, it kind of counteracts that color and yet coordinates with it. And then I thought, well, since I'm painting all the woodwork, let me go ahead and paint all the shelves. Because these shelves, if you remember from before, there were two big shelves in here. This one and then one about at that height that was very long. So Tom came in and he cut it in half and out of that one shelf, he made these two shelves. We had another piece of wood and he made that lip. And then of course, at that point, you're dealing with a lot of wood that's different colors and tones. And to freshen it all up, I went through and painted all of it with that dash of pepper. And I love it because I wanted wood in here to warm it up, but since there was so much wood in the wallpaper, I could cool it off just a little bit with this color and it worked wonders. All right, so let's start right here. This is, these are curtains that I had laying around. And of course right now, because I'm in garage sale mode or barn sale mode, I have found a lot of things I didn't know there were. And if you look down here, I have a bunch of storage down there and it's all covered by those curtains. So no problem with that. The other thing that I have in here that's modern, of course, is this little mini refrigerator freezer that I picked up at Home Depot. And you can see it's brand new and I haven't even used it yet. But think about this as wonderful, excessive storage. Yeah. And when people come with their plates of food, I can put them in here. It's going to be so convenient. So I really wanted to have that here. So yes, this is not part of an old fashioned buttery, but it is part of a modern woman who hosts a lot of get togethers and needs extra refrigerator space. And what a great place because it's not sitting in the middle of anything. It is still here in this closet, basically. Now, what I'm using right now to light it is a hanging light that I had, just to give it some light in here. And then I had to go about and figure out what I was gonna put in this buttery and how I was gonna fill it. So when we had the um, shelves up, then I scurried around the house and I looked for things. So I'm gonna walk you through what's in here and why it works. So I had this, this is not an old item. This is from Woodstock Country Shop. I picked it up a few years ago. It's a towel draped over an old black pitcher, kind of a kettle looking. It's purely decorative. And I thought that would work in here. I also have some of these pillows. Again, they're newer, but they're, they're tea stained to look old. And I got them at Woodstock Country Shop as I did these bowls. That's all newer stuff. I wanted a very primitive, primitive buttery, but to get those primitive things, they cost a lot of money. Here, I've got my hog scraper. Thank you, Paula, for that. And I've got my pestle and Oh guys, I can't remember what that's called, mortar and pestle. And then a box I picked up last year at um, Christmas time from Karen Boulay over there at uh, Primitive Times. This is a firkin that was like $10 at an antique shop. And that right there is a kind of a mixer. It's an early American mixer, like a 1910 alcohol mixer. I just felt like I needed that since I had an old bar. And this is a scale purchased from, hmm, where 
where did I get it? Michael's two years ago. So, you know, what's really antique here? Well, there's a little bit antique, and then there's a little bit new to look old. And that's okay, you do whatever you can, you know? Over here, now, I wish that I was faster on my tansy because I would have gone in and gathered more tansy before it all died, and I could have more hanging here. But if you have any herbs or cool things, that would be something they would see in an old buttery. This is, again, an old sieve, and I had it, thought it would look great on the wall. This is a reproduction lantern, but how pretty to bring lighting into your shelves and your buttery. This is an old firkin I got for $10. It doesn't have a bottom or a top, and it's missing a band, but it's cool and it's old and I love it. And the flowers in it actually are from my sister's funeral and we had them sitting in a bag here in this closet and I found it when I was cleaning out the closet and decided just to put them in this old firkin to soften it up, look a little more old. You can see behind I have some of my pewter plates and I think that they work well there and I needed them for storage. And then these are old liquor bottles that actually are from the bar in this house so very authentic and another light i love to put that light right behind the amber glow of that and these bottles are dirty you know i left them dirty because i wanted this place to look dirty and grungy got a few wonderful old crocs and then over here i put some of my pewter collection again just so that it would be convenient, but I didn't want pewter to be the main focus of the room since it's so shiny and it takes up so much space. But because that pewter is on the right side and found behind all the other items, it really works. Down here is one of my butter churns and a cabbage slicer. And you know, everything, these are just old antiques that would you would find in a room like this. You'd also find barrels. It's a barrel I had that came with the house. And these things are 50 to 100 bucks if you find them in an antique shop. And uh, the former owners left it for me, so that was really wonderful. More of those reproductions and a cute little basket that I picked up at Bernat Antiques. This wonderful board is from Primitive Goods. I saw it the, there the other day when I was filming and I knew exactly where I wanted to put it. It fits perfectly. And then this is my piece de resistance. This is my one true first very, very old authentic bowl. So I picked this up at the uh, fair the other week and the Walker Homestead Fair and yeah it's not the kind of thing that I usually buy just because I haven't been able to afford things like this but I'm realizing now that I can buy a lot less little stuff and get one big thing and it's worth it so a few gourds in there this is the best bowl in the world in fact you guys I had someone come and want to buy it from me for about twice what I paid for it and uh, cause he really wanted it. And although I was tempted, man, I had a vision for that bowl. Julie Tweedy made this. It's just a little bit of eh, whimsy in this room, uh, but it's made out of gourd, so it's very natural. And I like it there because Julie loves pantries and it reminds me of Julie Keeper of my home, my friend. And then behind there, there's just a couple crocs. So everything here was already in my house. I didn't have to get anything but that board. And this I picked up with this room in mind, but I love it. Let's just talk about the curtain. So I had the curtain. What I did with this curtain was all from the Dollar Tree. Now this is a, where am I? Here we go. 
This is a wire covered jute kind of thing, you know, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And then they had these little push pins. They had these little push pins that had little hooks on them. Again, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And that is what I used to put this up. I pushed them in and then I used a little hammer to get them in a little deeper. Tried to make sure I didn't break the end of the hook there. They might be kind of brittle. I might have to at some point replace them. But for $2.50 and some curtains I had laying around the house that basically I bought for like $6 for these, all these curtains at Ocean State, I have covered this. So there's not a lot that I had to spend on this. I had the paint, I had the wood, I kept the wallpaper and just gathered everything in my house that I could put in here. And this is the best buttery. Now, the one thing else I want to talk about is this is actually a door that goes into the fireplace area. So what shirtless Tom did was he put a corner at the end there so that you could get that open and he could slither in. That top shelf is also shorter than the middle shelf. That wasn't my original plan, but that turned out to be the width of the wood and Tom was willing to rip it all out and do it again, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. Over here, I'd love to hang some things on this wall, although I have found out that this wall is completely attached to the fireplace and wow, that could be a cool thing to tear out and look behind. There might be brick or something there which would look really cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to sneak in there and look. I tried to bang a nail in there today and it wouldn't even bang in. That could be a really cool idea or if it's like those rocks that make up the fireplace. But anyway, so this little space has turned into this amazing buttery. I'm gonna try to step outside of it a little for you to get a little perspective because the room is so small. Here's the floor. I did order a floor cloth. Um, however, it seems like the floor cloth I ordered was already sold and gone, and it would take me two months to get a new one. So I canceled that, and right now I'm just going with the regular floor, but I think a floor cloth in here will be a wonderful addition to the room. If I got zealous, I could do paint the floor cloth on the floor but I don't feel like doing that. And I don't even feel like painting a floor cloth. So probably gonna just buy it, but I really like this. It's the perfect addition to a primitive house. So if you wanna put a buttery in your house, let's talk about what you can do. I don't know if you remember, but last year when I went to Karen Boulay's house out there at Spencer, um, in Spencer at Primitive Times, she had um, a buttery in just a little closet under her stairs. She had taken the door off and they put shelves in there and they made it into a buttery. So you don't have to actually have a house that has a buttery. It's kind of interesting because if you remember another old video where I said I wanted a buttery, I tried to make one in my kitchen. And then at one point I almost turned a bedroom into a buttery and a um, washer dryer area. But then I figured out I could put my washer dryer in a closet and Tom didn't want us to use up the bedroom, which I think that was a wise idea because there's a bathroom right off of that bedroom. So why would you want to waste that? for a pantry kind of thing. And never in a million years did I think I could use this because this was a mess. I mean, it was a stinky, smelly, gross mess and I didn't want to do anything to it. I just wanted to avoid it. I love my new buttery. <laughs> and I'm sure if you guys make a buttery at your home, you're gonna love it as much as I love mine. I just come here sometimes and just stand here and look at it because it's so primitive feeling and so earthy and, and kind of, of all the places in my house, this room really makes me feel like I've traveled back in time. So if you wanna travel back in time and don't have a lot of money to 
make all of the uh, rooms look old at this point, just start with a buttery. It's gonna just encourage you so much and you don't have to spend a lot of money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna give you an extra video this week of the barn sale items. Um, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy that. No, we are not shipping, I'm sorry about that. And, um, but it looks like we're gonna have a big crowd. So we might not really have anything left over, uh, which is like really crazy when you think about all we have in the barn. So we've got that going on. And so I will be giving you a few updates about that this week. And um, you can enjoy vicariously. I will also probably go into the barn at some point when I'm selling if I have time and do some video. And maybe some of you guys that visit might want to be on that video and just say hi to the viewers because I am really looking forward to meeting you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you check out the channel often. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. When you push that like button, it helps my videos get out there. Um, I seem to be a slow growing channel. And so you guys can help me grow faster by just pushing that like button and commenting. That helps me so much. Doesn't cost you a cent. <laughs> so thank you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.